y'all, it's Hannah, and welcome back to my channel, or hi, hello, if you're new here. If you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Hannah. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out me and my YouTube channel for today's video. I'm really excited because we're going to be taking a break from some fall looks. We're going to be putting a pause, and we are also not going to be doing a holiday look either. What I'm going to be doing is a video that I came up with last night, and this is how to glow up after a breakup. So, I am really excited. So, if you're going through a breakup right now or if you are just single and you are finally ready to mingle honey this is the video for you i'm going to show y'all how to glam up using some very affordable drugstore and just in general affordable products as well as well as giving you kind of like some advice and just kind of like prepping you up so let's go ahead and get right on into this video so go ahead and get out your makeup get out your makeup brushes and let's go ahead and get started all right so the very first thing that we're going to start out with is the eyes because it's proven that the eyes are the first thing that a person notices about you so whether whether or not you are trying to maybe go out on a date with that new guy or girl whatever you fancy we don't judge around here and you are just really really wanting to go out with them honey with this eye look, you're going to be looking so daggone good. So, first what I'm going to be doing is going into my Makeup Revolution. This is the Reloaded Visionary Palette. Now, they have tons of these Reloaded Palettes. That's kind of why I did that little eye roll right there. Um, And this is a lot to choose from. But, these palettes are really good. They're really affordable. You can pick them up at Ulta. And they are very inexpensive palettes. But, they're very, very good quality. Um, The only thing I don't like about this palette is that the shades are not named. So, I'm going to go in with that shade right there into my crease. And this is just kind of going to be my transition shade. I don't really know what type of look I want to go for here today. Um, so, I'm just going to be using this double-ended eyeshadow brush from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to pop this shadow into the crease. I'm going to take that matte white shade right there, and I'm going to be putting that onto the lid, and I'm going to be using this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush to apply it. So, probably something that I would say is that, you know, when you are going out with someone new or you are trying to mix and mingle, look for someone to be happy with. That is probably my biggest advice to give you because something that I have learned over the last couple of years is that you can't look for someone to make you happy and you can't look for someone to complete you. You have to learn to be happy on your own and to create your own happiness and radiate your own happiness. You can't rely on someone to make you happy. And then afterwards, after you do all that and you, you know, find happiness within yourself, then you can should go out and you should look for someone to be happy with. Don't go into this concept of like, oh, I need this person to make me happy or like oh I want to be you know happy with someone that's all well and good but if you're not happy with yourself first then you're not going to be happy with anybody else either all right so I'm really liking the way that this eye look is coming along so far I think it's a really pretty nice and neutral look so for the outer crease area I think what I'm going to do is going to my City Mini palette. This is from Maybelline. I'm going to be taking that shade right there. It's kind of like that taupey shade. And I'm going to be applying that to the outer half of my crease slash lid area. Um, and what I'm going to be using is just this Cheek Crease Brush to apply it. And one of the biggest things that I think that I have learned over the last couple of years is that if someone can't see your worth and see your value, you should let them go. You shouldn't be around someone that is just constantly bringing you down all the time. You shouldn't be around someone that is just constantly bringing negativity and just bad energy into your life, you know. It doesn't matter, you know, who this pe person is to you. If they are being damaging to your self-esteem and to your self-worth, you need to let them go because you are worth so much more. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have everything in life that you strive for. And you deserve the best of the best because you are amazing just the way that you are. It's a pretty 
simple eyeshadow look that I wanted to do today. Um, it's very cool toned, which I don't normally do a cool toned look, but I actually really like the way that this looks. So we are just going to leave it as is, and now I'm going to be curling my eyelashes with my e.l.f. eyelash curler and applying a little bit of the Mana Carta Beauty Mascara. Um, this is just their volumizing mascara. So one of my favorite things probably has to be the fact that, you know, when you meet someone new, whether or whether or not it's a relationship or a romantic situation, just whatever, it's always really fun to learn something new about somebody. So it is really important to ask questions, but don't be like overly asking questions, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're just asking so many questions at a time that the person is getting really, really annoyed with you. Uh, because I've definitely done that a time or two, and I could definitely tell that the person was getting really, really bored and really annoyed with our conversation. So you kind of have to have that happy medium of like asking questions, but not asking too many questions that the person feels overloaded and that you are just annoying, I guess, is, for lack of better terms, is what I'm trying to say. Um, another thing, too, that I would like to say as well is to show interest into that person don't get so caught up talking about yourself or just whatever that all you do is just sit there and you just you know talk about yourself make sure that you allow the other person to speak i'm pretty sure that this is just like common sense um what i'm saying and just good manners but you know some people out there they don't got manners so all i'm saying is you know just you know be talkative but don't be like overly talkative about yourself talk about yourself but don't be to the point where like you don't let the other person have a word in edgewise now it is time for false eyelashes because if this date's going south we're gonna use these eyelashes to fly up on out of here because we ain't got time to waste some time with nobody that ain't interested back in us so i'm going to be using the elf natural lashes and these are just really really pretty they're just really soft and they're just really natural um, i don't really want anything too bold or too dramatic to overpower this eye look so that is why i chose to use these lashes to a day now you know the drill you know that i'm going to be using my little applicator to apply them as well as my kiss strip lash adhesive glue i'm back and um really quickly i'll hop off the camera and i got all of my supplies together because I've talked about this numerous times here on my channel but i work in kind of like layers with getting products and stuff i don't always know right off the bat what products i want to use for each tutorial so really quickly i want to give you one little advice and that is to exfoliate your lips and this is from elf this is their lips exfoliator this is in brown sugar and i like this one the best because it's in a lipstick tube format so it's really convenient to use you just kind of like rub it all over your lips and this gets all of the dead skin off of your lips and all that dead crustiness off of your lips and just makes your lips super baby soft and smooth and then i always like to go in with a little bit of a lip balm this is from Too Faced and this is just their peach lip balm and what this is going to do is lock that moisture in place and i always like to put a little bit on while I am doing my makeup so that way it can kind of like set into my lips and sink in there and really really moisturize my lips because we don't want to be kissing and smooching nobody with dry crusty lips that ain't cute and that ain't fun so always make sure to take care of your lips and give your lips gentle loving care so now that I have that out of the way and by the way I know that the Too Faced <laughs> lip balm is not a drugstore product it's just a lip balm that I'm really liking at the moment but if you need an affordable one the Nivea lip balms are the way to go I freaking love those so now let's move on to the rest of the um, makeup and we're going to do complexion. So now I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation because I wanted a full coverage foundation today for this look because we don't always want to let our guard down immediately on the first date. You know, you kind of want to work in strategies and in layers doing that. And, you know, we're just going to conceal and to perfect the heck out of life and, you know, control the things that we can. And that is starting off with my face. Now I'm 
going to be going in with some concealer because honestly, we're just going to conceal the past. And I'm going to be using the Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer to do that with. So we are moving on from all of the past negativity and all of the stress and anguish that our last relationship brought us. We are going to be concealing and starting over and turning over a new leaf. going to be setting that concealer in place and setting our new outlook on life in place with the Heart Candy Translucent Loose Sheer Envy Powder. This lash over here, it must have been sensing some negativity or something off of me because it kept popping off and I kept having to like go back in and refix it and re-glue it, but we're all good now. So now I'm going to be going into the waterline and I'm going to spice things up and make things really, really fun because we want this person to be really impressed and think, wow, you know, that person has some pizzazz to them. So I'm going to go with the LA Colors. This is their neon eyeliner. This is just in the shade neon blue. And this is just going to add our first, yes, our first fun pop of color. Now going back into the Maybelline City Mini Eyeshadow Palette, we're going to add our second pop of color. And what I want to do is go in with that really pretty purple shade. I've actually never ever used that purple shade in this little palette before. So today is going to be a first time for everything. All right, now I'm going to be going into my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. This is in the shade Moonlight Pearls, and I'm going to be applying this to the inner corners of my eyes to give them some brightness because we want our eyes to shine bright like a diamond. Going back into the Mana Carta Beauty Mascara, going into the longer lashes just to elongate them and make them beautiful and stand out. Well, they're already beautiful, but I just use bottom lash mascara mostly just to make them a lot longer because I've said this before on my channel and I'll say it again. My lower lashes are freakishly really, really long, so a good kind of mascara makes them even longer, which I actually really like. It doesn't bother me. Now I'm going to be adding some bronzer to add some warmth back into the skin because we are going to be warming ourselves up to the idea of putting ourselves back out there and getting back out there into the game of things. And you know what? If you get rejected by someone, that's okay because if they can't see your worth, so be it. You'll find someone out there that will see you and will see your worth and see your value. You know, just because one person rejects you, that's okay. I've had tons of people reject me in my life and I'm perfectly okay because I know who I am and I know what I'm worth. And those people's rejections of me has made me a lot stronger and has made me become the person that I am. time for blush and I'm going to be using my elf blush. This is in the shade at Shy. Now remember it is okay to be a little shy whenever you know you're getting back out there in the swing of things and you're meeting new people. That's okay. That's really normal. In fact I'm actually really really awkwardly shy whenever I first meet people in general so it's okay to be shy. It's all right. That's okay. It made no big deal. Um, The reason that I picked to use this blush today though is because I like the shade that it is. I love the shade of pink. I just feel like it looks really really pretty on me and I'm going to be using my blush brush that I got off of eBay. Uh, Surprisingly, I actually really like some of the brushes off of eBay. Some of them are trash but some of them are really, really good. It's like a happy medium and it's a happy balance, so yeah. Now we 
are going to be going into some highlighter, and I'm using the same Elf Fate highlighter in the shade of Moonlight Pearls. And this is just what it looks like. It is a gorgeous, glowy, stunning highlight. And you know, I want my glow to be popping for this look. I want it to look like I am just glowing, and I just have an angelic glow. So that is why I chose to use this today. And I'm going to be using my highlight brush from Chic. And this brush is just a really, really nice highlighting brush, which is why I like to use it. Alrighty, and then last but certainly not least is lips, and I'm actually really sad that we are at the end of this video. I love filming all my videos, and I get really sad whenever we get to this final part, because I'm like, oh, I'm almost over with it, and it's like really sad. But anyway, um, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick. This is in the shade of Pink Meeks. Now, I want it just a soft pink natural lip. You know, nothing crazy, nothing wild, you know. Let's not get too crazy yet, you know. Let's not scare this person away just yet, you know. Let's kind of make them think, like, okay, this person's cool, calm, and collected. And then we can whip out all of our crazy colorfulness out on them. So, that is why I chose to use this lipstick today. I put in my false diamonds because I'm not responsible enough to own real diamond earrings. But I put these in, and as I was putting these in, I kind of thought about a Dolly Parton quote that is actually one of my favorite quotes ever, and that is that it's hard being a diamond in a rhinestone world. And that is exactly what you are watching this video right now. You are a diamond. You are standing out amongst all these other rhinestones in the world because you are unique and you are beautiful because you are you. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope that you all did enjoy it because I had a lot of fun making it. Have fun going out there and mingling and socializing, but do be cautious because we do still have a pandemic going on. So socialize with caution. Let me just say that. Socialize with caution. Don't go out there and be crazy. But I really do hope that you all did enjoy this video because like I said, I had a ton of fun making this video for y'all today. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a big thumbs up down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're down there as well because I'm here for you with new videos every Thursday, Saturdays, and Mondays at 6 or 6.30 p.m. Eastern. You're definitely going to want to subscribe and stick around because the holidays are coming up and I got a ton of fun things plan for y'all that y'all ain't even ready for. It is going to be so fun here on my YouTube channel in the next couple of weeks. Also, if you would like to, you can give me a follow over on social media as well because I'm going to be posting a ton of content on my social media handles as well for the holidays and we're just going to have a lot of fun this year. So, I really hope that you all did enjoy this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see you all in Thursday's video. Bye my little handicorns.